What is right and wrong in a relationship? It's just a, a perspective. It's just an opinion. So I think the most important thing to establish a connection, a relationship that is long lasting is more to do with how you set the context about your honesty, about your way to be able to communicate effectively with one another, your needs, your wants, your desires. You see, most relationships struggle with uh, misalignment or miscommunication and then results in certain arguments and fights and things like that. And usually people don't communicate effectively. When they don't communicate effectively, what happens? They start building up. They see things they don't like, they don't speak about it. Uh, the other side see things, they'll hear things they don't like, they don't speak about it. And then what happens is it builds up, it builds up, it builds up and suddenly it becomes this time bomb that is waiting to explode. Don't allow that balloon to inflate that way. So through time you should be, whatever you feel, whatever you think, then speak it, effectively communicate it. You see, so many times we are afraid of the other person's response, what they will think, how they will react, but their reaction is their problem. You at least need to get what's off your chest and communicate your message, openness and honesty, so that they understand you. I think many people can relate to that, especially at the beginning of a relationship, right? They start making certain promises and um, I guess in some ways selling themselves or we can say overselling themselves to a persona, a character, an identity that they know that the other person may desire but probably isn't completely aligned with them. And then what happens is somewhere a uh, few days later, a few months later, then uh, the real self starts revealing. So I would always say from the beginning, it's going to be a much easier relationship for you if you set the context from the beginning. Speak what you want. Speak what you need. And the only reason people don't do that is because they're afraid of what the other person may think or, 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 or reject them or something like that. But you need to understand, if you don't speak what you want, you can never be what you want. And if you don't be what you want, you will always be out of alignment because there's something that you desire that you're not being. And so you've got to speak it. And you think, oh, but if I speak it, I may lose them. But if you do lose them, maybe you weren't aligned because what you want is not aligned with what they want. Relationships should be made a lot more easier than they are. Like one should be able to speak their truth, the other one should be able to speak their truth. And if alongside the two truths, they can come to some sort of alignment and agreement that, okay, this is okay. I love you enough or I love this relationship enough and I love myself enough to make this work because I desire this, then they will make it work. But the biggest problem is most people, they don't speak about that. So what happens is five years later, 10 years later, 20 years later, that those hidden secrets are deep down inside and they eventually will catch up. And then all the problems and everything starts to occur. So instead of that, understand that the one secret behind having the most successful and happy relationships in your life is truth, honesty, openness, and just speak what you feel. Be yourself. Love yourself enough. Love them enough. Love both of you enough to make it work.